Well, <laughs> it's my last uh, my last trip down today. A brand new low tide. It changed a lot on the beach. I found that coral fossil and angel shale. And the uh, uh, that ceramic period chisel or whatever you want to call it, archaic tool. Well, that could have been a, it could have been a, an older too. I don't know. And I found that green pearl up there in the crevices by the stream. Now I'm just laying here in the down on the flat. To see what. See what shows up. You never know. I'm hoping for one of those great big 15 millimeter ones. That would be like crazy, crazy to find. It'd be wonderful too because they're they're uh, they're beautiful. <laughs> they're just beautiful. Oh, spoke of yellow. It's just a, that is the remainder of a yellow pearl. It must have been here for a long time before it got broken up. That wind is turning cold. I just uh, <laughs> wish the temperatures temperatures warm up enough so I didn't have to wear this parka. Because I'm getting tired of. Uh, oh, what is that? Yeah, that's a nice green pearl. Huh. Well, I have hopes of finding another one then. Oh, my fingers are pretty cold. I'm only, I only have my have my. Uh, The search. Let's see what else the tide's going to kick up. There's more of that pudding stone. Hard to believe. 
that, that stuff is still is coming up now and back in the ice age the big ice sheet was 500 miles or 600 miles north of this exact spot that I'm standing on so whenever I, I spot that pudding stone I, I have to I have to remember that it was washed down after the ice melted it was uh, the, uh, is it when when the ice when that great ice sheet that covered North America melted it created a flood a flood filled in the Bay of Fundy and that filled in the Great Lakes but the debris left behind was this pudding stone. It's, uh, it was an important change in the environment for, for mankind. The Deborah Balsam people moved in. ice sheet started to melt. They followed the herds of the uh, they followed the herds of the caribou between 10,000 and 6,000 years ago or between 10,000 and 8,000 years ago. But then again, the, when I think about the horse effigies that I videoed here, those horse effigies were from the people that were thriving 126,000 years ago. So the horse effigy, the stone, the, the yes, the horse effigies. The stone figures representing horses had to have been made down south. Somehow ended up here. But still, think about it. Regardless if it came from the coast of Maryland or from this region, horses, give or take, give or take five years, out 126,000 years ago. Oh, my camera hand is getting extremely cold. I had my mitts, <laughs> my big cowhide mitts, <laughs> as it's so much warmer. And 
there's the ferry coming in. I hope they had a pleasant journey. Well, it certainly wasn't under the sunniest of skies. Ooh, look, the seagulls are going nuts over there. where the fish are. Come on, man, stop. I'm not gonna be able to get the camera still enough to uh, get the seagulls There's a piece of rock coal broke off from the seam somewhere. piece of pink granite Yeah. <laughs> Okay.
bother with it. I'm just going to 